Wolf in black, closer look. The sheep mask is sort of an image that we see first episode. The idea of masks, to me, uh, is a really interesting theme this season. And the fact that all the clones have the same face, you know. MK is very smart. She's a computer hacker. That's kind of her special skill. She's extremely good. She's very elusive and very security conscious. She is kind of off the grid and in the shadows surviving. She turns out to be um, very important to our characters, both in the, in the past and the present. The sheep mask itself, there's, there's a little Dolly the Sheep reference there. There were definitely distinct camps of people that wanted the mask to be a certain animal or a certain shape or figure and all that kind of stuff. So we sat in this big boardroom and we looked at all the masks and we narrowed it down. And then there was like the farm animal pile and the rabbit pile and the scary pile and eliminated it till we finally had, um, I think, a rabbit and a sheep and uh, the sheep won. I haven't seen the sheep mask yet. So I know about it. I've, I've read about it a ton, but I haven't seen it. And then they made 19 versions of the sheep mask for us to choose which would be the iconic version of the sheep mask. John Fawcett and Graham and I talked a lot about her backstory, uh, how she physically is in the world. The first day I played MK was on the opposite side of a clone shot. So I had already played Beth in that clone scene and Catherine had played MK. So I was stepping into MK in a Technodolly shot and, and exploring her for the first time in a very technical way. So it was very counter to what I would have wanted to do, you know, because I sort of would like to be a bit more free and less have, less have, uh, have you know, the technical stuff to think about and like the kind of rhythm to follow. Um, but, it, but it, you know, it, it is what it is. There's a lot of physical contact. We have hugging and passing, you know, a lot of passing behind and in front of and door slamming and, what was really cool about it was that it was all done in one giant sweeping technodolly move. So it worked, which I shouldn't be surprised that it worked by this time, but it's always nice when it does work. I felt like she was a real exploration, like day two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like there was no kind of, oh, right, this is, oh, right. <laughs> okay, this is who MK is, you know? It was like constantly evolving and I'm s still discovering who she is. All new episodes, Orphan Black, Thursdays at 10 on BBC America. Get caught up. Full episodes at bbcamerica.com on demand in the BBC America mobile app.